you show up at a party and you've got your guitar, of course everybody's going to yell out, Freebird! But if you show up at that same party and you have your banjo, you're going to hear choruses of dueling banjos. So rather than fight it, what you want to do is just push your tip jar out there a little bit further and go ahead and play it. So you're saying, well, I'm a beginner or an intermediate player. I don't know how to play that. Well, that's what this video is designed to do. This is to get you going here, even if you haven't been playing banjo that long. I'm going to do this entire demonstration on my entry level gold tone banjo. The last thing we want to do is blame the banjo. It'll sound great on whatever you've got. All of the notes to the first part of the song can be found in the G major scale. So here it is. The notes that are circled are called the roots. So if you play from the third string open, up to that open fifth string, you hear the familiar Do, Re, Mi. We also will have some melody notes that appear in the G major scale down here on the fourth string. So be sure to include those. Here now are the seven phrases that make up the song. If you feel like you can get it just from reading the tab here, feel free to bump ahead in the video to where we start putting the whole song together. Otherwise, stick with us and we'll go over each of these phrases. Phrase number one begins with a hammer-on on the second string. I will be hitting any notes on the second string with my index finger, any notes on the first string with my middle finger, and any notes on strings three, four, or five with my thumb. So on the second string, I hit it open, bring down my first finger, that's my hammer on, and then play the rest of the notes. Phrase two is borrowed from Yankee Doodle. is phrase three with one exception being the last note if you were playing Yankee Doodle you'd play phrase four involves some chord strums easy to do on guitar they just take a pick and strum down and up on the banjo we will do a down with our thumb and notice that my thumb instead of remaining straight up and down I go a little bit flatter here against the strings. As I come up, I'm going to brush just the last couple of strings, the highest pitch strings with my index finger, come back with a downstroke. So it ends up being down, up, down, down on the C chord, down on the G chord. Phrase number five simply goes up the G scale and comes back down a couple of notes. And there's a little bit of single string technique used there on the first three notes because they're quick notes. They're a couple of eighth notes. They begin on B4. One, two, three. Thumb index thumb. And then as you go up to the second string, your index finger comes back in. To get phrase number six, we simply are going to add five frets to each note played in phrase number five. To do that, I'll hold a bar across fret five on strings one, two, and three. Then I will add my third and second fingers as I play the other notes. Now, I've had some students that have trouble getting a good clean sound with that bar. Well, you can just play all of these as individual notes. Notice the right hand stayed the same with the thumb, index, and middle. To play phrase number seven, simply take your bar and move it up two frets. And play the same pattern again. So those are the seven phrases that you need to play the first part of the song. Simply listen to what the guitar player is playing and throw it back at him or her. I'll have the tab to each phrase on the screen as I perform the song here momentarily. But should you like a copy of it, 
Feel free to check the video description to get an email address to where you can get it. The next part of the song is what I call the transition. It involves phrases one, two, and three. Instead of just throwing it back and forth, the guitar will start and then you'll come in and play along with the guitar. So the guitar goes And at that time the banjo usually goes wild. We're going to do a milder version of it by just playing some rolls against the chords. This next part of the song can be thought of as the fast part, where you hear the banjo start playing all the rolls and fancy licks. So the idea is to just get some energy going. We've been playing mostly quarter notes, one per beat. Now we're going to play eighth notes. You can see when I went to the eighth notes, there was more energy. So we're going to get that simply by playing some eighth note rolls. Here are the chords that we'll be playing against. We'll use an alternating pattern, which starts on string three, two, five, one. And then you continue on by going strings four, two, five, one. And we'll do one of those patterns for each measure. So I start on a C chord. there tell you to go back and play all that again. So you could consider everything that we've played up till now as a good starter beginner version. The song does continue on with swapping out parts here and so to do that the guitar will start with phrase number five and the guitar starts on beat four and we'll start our rhythm on beat one. Da 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 that's beat three and then as we play our phrase five we're going to change the first two notes to strings five and one so we're going to continue to go back and forth between our rhythm as the guitar plays and then we'll play our phrase to answer the guitar da da dun 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 while holding the bar. So on and so on. After you conclude throwing the phrases back and forth between your rhythm and your lead, you'll play another transition and then follow that up by playing the rolls against the chords one last time. We now will perform the entire song just follow what the guitar plays. This is being played at a slow speed. The record is actually about two and a half times faster than this. So if you need it even slower, you can do that by using the YouTube features. And the point is to dig in, have fun. Everybody at the party will be thrilled because their request has been answered and your tip jar will be overflowing.